Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. Been pretty busy lately with other stuff. I think today, for our bonus video, we'll do some more Brutal. I'm not gonna hop into the customs yet. I think the customs are gonna be for once I finish all of this stuff. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put two attempts in on Brutal, and then uh, we're gonna go start working through some of these. But who knows, maybe I'll just clear Brutal first try. I do want Complex, I think. I want to have uh, blessings available. And let's play basic. Not intended to be possible, by the way. Okay. So we need to make 20 points. I think the easiest way is going to be to get some sort of blessing that's very free. This starting party, though. I, you know, Ruffian isn't terrible. You can do it. For every... 3 HP, they get 2. Start damage, 2 also seems pretty bad. What is this? All heroes immune to abilities. Oh. Middle shield, let me see the parties. Okay. I mean, all poison 4 seems you win turn 1 or you die. So we could maybe do this. And then it's just hard because there's nothing to add. Let me reroll. Let's run. Let's run another basic try. Go stone. Every second HP must be removed individually. Become immune to damage this turn. Am I insane? Isn't this impossible? It's just alternating intangibility stone. How is this a 16? Shouldn't this be like a 50? Damaged monsters. I mean, actually, what is this? Every one of four? Hmm. Top four D level is probably not so bad for 13. And then we need seven points. Which we could take uh, Fight 19 Curse. Death Shield seems pretty bad, but like Big Hitter 8. Oh man, but it has to be Death Shield. But Death Shield is so bad. Two fewer rerolls might be the play then. Go over by three. Spiky Monsters 5 turns everything into a thorn. Uh, you'd have to play for blue for that, I guess. We could do that. Let's try this. Let's try Spiky Monsters 4, or Spiky Monsters 5, uh, Big Hitter 8, Fight 19, Curse, Monster Growth. I think this is playable. Especially since we have multiple blues, like multiple mana supports here, I think it's probably viable. The only thing I hate here is this Monster Growth, but it shouldn't be so bad. And uh, here we go. It looks like a setup that can get out of the first round, which I think is cool and probably a way forward. I'll go for a redirect Squire. I shouldn't cut Squire there, though. That was silly. Six. So Lazy dies. Everyone dies if they swing here. Wait, they actually both rolled their growth sides. That's not right. That ain't right. Okay, so this looks bad. Let's try again. Only character who has enough HP to survive a swing is Dabble. I might just swing it and die. So we can burst here to kill this rat. Heal five. I don't know, Squire. I think you just got skill dip. He rolled the growth. What can I do? You can try to roll for it there, but I don't think it's worth it. Hey, we made it out of the first fight. I like Sapphire Skull, but I cannot add this wolf. Trapper has a range shot. Enchanter gives me self-heal, self-shield. And I can flip for lazy, but I think Gardener's too good to leave. So it's Trapper. Okay, it's not so bad. I've seen worse. And now we can start hitting one time on some of these characters and surviving. This is where Squire really sucks, by the way. This guy sucks so much here. 
Because he can't let me let Lazy survive cleanly. So I guess he redirects for Cultist, and then I go... First... What fight is this? This is two. I think I need to let my Lazy die. And we hope that, yeah, no seeds hatch this turn. One would have been playable, but more than one I think becomes very challenging to solve. That's uh, still pretty challenging to solve. I guess I have to kill off my squire again. I'm gonna greed. I really, really want to not lose any characters here. Or any more characters, I should say. One mana lets me cut that seed. Good. It was a little greedy, but it works out in the end. Ow. A random tier zero tweak. These are all bad, but this video is more about having fun than it is about winning. Oh, bowl! The combo! Holy! That's actually pretty good, though. No shit. I get to undo- it's- it's not terrible, it's just very gambly. But hey, I love to gamble. Now you'll be able to know if the X that I rolled is the one that I took the curse for because it is a different color. So you can see very clearly if I am getting fucked over by this or not. You won't have to guess. Ooh. Squire, I got bad news for you, buddy. Someone is dying for this. And I'll tell you, it is in cultist. Hey, did you know you can redirect onto the dead body, by the way? Um, Scrapper's pretty bad here. I think I'll play Armor. Probably Bull Cultist. Good luck, team. Hey, it actually looks good. Two mana from Gardener, maybe? Oh, baby! What the hell? Wait, we're doing it. I can't believe it. Static Tome. Top and bottom side. I mean, mana is the way, for sure. So, any form of mana gain is super powerful for us. I've taught my lazy to read. I never thought I'd see the day. I think my lazy is actually about to fucking explode. <sighs> But we're okay. We roll lazy? Nah, I think he's actually pretty good. Evoker looks horrific. I will play Vampire. I really, really want to play Herbalist in this run, but it is not in the cards. And Vampire gives us Infuse, which is good enough for me. First. Okay. Yeah, the spiky monsters is annoying, but it looks like it was the play. So far, anyway. Three of a kind armor is cute, but not all that good. So I'm down for a siphon. Just really send home called this here. But siphoning lazy will also be good because this can be four mana off of a off of anyone now, which is super good for this curse. Well, maybe playable is more correct. Super good is perhaps an overstatement. You need to roll down for mana on Vampire in this position. Okay. Two mana. You're dying to... We can stun Cyclops here. Playable. That's all you can ask for. Fights that don't stabilize immediately, though, are probably going to end with someone dying. Not a lot you can do about that.
Do you live? I think you do live. If you try to save cultist, you're really opening yourself up to defeat here. I don't think we get to be picky. I think we take our lethal where we can get- excuse me. Okay, we'll lock in guaranteed. Good job. Caldera looks worse. I think it's Brew. Like, he looks real freaky here. I think it's Brute, though. Because Brute has the HP to hold this in the future. Not right now. But in the future, he can hold this. I think for now, it goes to armor. Sarcophagus, probably one of the ideal fights, because it just leaves. Probably one of the best things I can see here. Okay, Brute. I hear ya. I think you're a little bit hopeful if you're trying to kill Sarcophagus here, but it's not impossible. Sorry, my fault. It's like this, but it should probably go to Brute. It's not out of the question. Four plus three is seven. I can put him to seven, basically. I could lock these, and then worst case, I burst trapper. Ah, so close. Because you can go... Oh, it's actually lethal. Never mind. I don't know. Oh, because you know why? Because he was at 12. I was not counting the stone HP correctly. Magic staff. Ooh, interesting. Oh, wait. Super good, actually. Alembic Fangs. Fangs is pretty solid. Especially with Siphon locked in. So Magic Staff Armorer. And then we have Cultus this so he stops bursting into flames. This fight looks very bad. What can I do? This looks doomed. We need to keep the cultist alive or we have no chance. That's your first assessment. And he has to land a six for me. This is a one, this is a three. You can still roll it. Okay. Um, seven mana. I think we have to go down the line here and clear out these illusions. I'm just gonna get kinda slaughtered if I don't. But if I go this way, Brute dies. What about... First burst. Vampire can't survive. But the only character getting weakened here is armor. The grave is making two bones, though, because I'm getting honestly pretty unlucky. Okay, you gotta let it go. It's up to Trapper now. Okay, we didn't get completely doomed here. This cultist is... He is so trying. He's doing his goddamn best. Come on, Trapper. Not quite. I'll take the stun. 
It's all you, Trapper. Ah. If we die, cultist, I just want you to know it's not your fault. And then burst, burst, stun the illusion. Cultist is putting in overtime and Trapper is asleep at the wheel here. I can swing into this guy, it kills the grave. I think I roll down. Three, two, three. Cultist, my man. He's going off. And we made it. I can't believe it. Sparky looks fine. Actually, Sparky looks kind of good. Basically, we are just playing Gambler, and it's pick your flavor here on Gambler. You could play for Seer, though. This actually could just be sit here and foretell. I think it is. And then... What do I do with all of this? I don't care about the poison that Sierra lost either. I just have to live. Four mana and then a double infuse so you get the health back. I think this is the way. Three mana and we begin foretelling. I wish we had a better defensive gr uh, gray now, but what can you do? Three plus two does not kill you. Fortel is a little bit sad, but I guess you gotta do it. And then what? I guess I end turn. I don't think I swing with that. Tomorrow will be a better day. It's not so bad. Every turn that they give me time is good because it's more foretell casts. Brute, it's kind of your fate's in your own hands, man. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I guess I can infuse. It was kind of the long term plan anyway. Trapper is not really showing up to play, though, I have to say. I really need Trapper to roll me a kill shot before I die. I need to take a look, because we are now entering the, uh, oh god, they're coming section of the run. Zwip, zwip, zwip. This is the problem. Wiz has double boned me. I probably need to spend uh, bottom bones too. What a shame. Not quite. I think we let the two bones spawn in and we have to call it non threatening. How's, how bad is this? Pretty bad. I think it's three infuse. Oh, it's kill Slimer. Isn't it? It's... First... Four, one. Infuse, infuse, foretell, foretell. That puts me on eight next turn, which is enough to guaranteed clear two bones and the Slimer's AoE is gone, but I cannot attack. I'm going to have to spend a bunch of infuses. I think this is the line, though. 
Pray he doesn't make more bones. Careful what you pray for. Trapper dodges. I mean, how bad is this actually? The bones just keep lining up really poorly here on their attacks. For me. I'm still losing the militia. Okay, take me back to the start. What do you have to roll? Yeah, it's not really worth rolling down. Sorry, I'm deep in thought here. This isn't good enough because I'm not foretelling enough, but it is probably rolled these three dice. Again. Okay. What else was that? Not enough. I think I'm done. I think I think we are finished here. I had to keep the dodge. That's the the lesson here. I had I had to keep the dodge. Uh, it's hard to see though. I think. Let me see. What if I go? One, two, three. Six. This will never work. If I could, if I could do this and cast four four towels, I could win out. But this will never work out. I'm just dying by so much. Can keep vampire, but she's gone. Hey, where's my targeting thingy? Oh. If I had one more HP on brute, I actually think this would be okay. Ah, fuck! I should have kept the dodge, man. I don't. I was rolling for the kill shot. It's in my mind I fell victim to the gambler's fallacy. It's been so long since I hit the kill shot. I said to myself, well, we got to hit the kill shot, right? It's been forever. It's still winnable. Roll me your three damage self-heal self-shield. Wait. No way. Close. Just short, right? I'm one, I'm actually one mana away from stabilizing it. How crazy is that? I'm w no way I'm one off, man. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, let me dig deep here. Let me run the bone map again and again. This is wrong, because then you're going to waste one. It's plus 25. This is not correct. This is plus 10 if I do it, and then I'm off by one mana or one damage. I think it actually is going to come out to be one off every time. One mana off. Let me just run through it a few times for my own curiosity. This is plus five. One mana away. I can't believe it. done this way before. What about here? I think it always comes out to be the same. I think you're always just one mana off. Crazy. Actually crazy. I just don't have it. I don't think there's any way. What if you shield first? Does this do anything? So I think it all works out to be the same. Oh, you know what? You know what it is? I've seen this before. It's this. Then he runs. Hold. I... I can't believe it. There is a way to live. Okay, now we have to super optimize. By the way, so the way that it works here is you go to five and then go to zero. So he sees it at five for a second and runs. And then first burst. It's just, it's so hard because it's really, really hard to actually still finish the fight. I get to go on, but I have to roll this, and the Wiz has to roll... I don't even know, actually, what he can roll that I would live. But let's, let's give it a fair shake here. It's this one? No. I think it's this one? That's my best bone mass. And then what? I think I'm still dead. I'm on 2 HP. So the way that I win from here is I have to roll this side every turn and the Wiz has to roll heal on the next turn. Do I survive the bats? I don't know. Hey, you know what? At least I found a... I knew there was a line there if I looked long enough. I could find it. Uh, at least we found it. It was a good effort. I think.
uh, all things considered. So the trouble with this setup is, I don't know. It's hard to say. I think it might be, I mean, it's not hard to say. It's specialist. I mean, this shit was terrible, but I think if I keep the trapper's dodge, I can still potentially win. All things considered, I'm pretty sure you keep the trapper's dodge there and you can find your way through. But it looks very... I think it's very hard. That fight was mostly just a low roll. I... No, you know what? I, I think what I did was right. I'm pretty sure the only way to win that fight is to roll Trapper's kill shot and kill the Wiz before he spawns the second set of bones. So, I don't know. I think we went a little bit dry on Trapper rolling the side I needed, and that's how it goes. Brutal is just as much luck as it is skill. That's my opinion. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.